Right, hello everyone and welcome back to Titanic, an adventure out of time. We are here in the turbine control room and in the last episode I show you, showed you what happens if you intentionally try to get yourself killed. Um, now we're going to do things properly. So we need to meet Vlad, who is the person who killed us last time. But we're not going to do this. We're going to go, we're going to, go to boiler room number three. And we're going to meet Vlad. You are a passenger. Excuse me, I would speak with you. Yes. Okay. What do you want? Forgive me. I am sorry to intrude on you. A person of such high station. High station. I am Vlad. Excellent. What are your troubles? Yeah, men. I am leaving my home. I can't work out. I am a third and they have... Yes. Okay. So we're just going to skip through... Um, I'm just skipping through the conversation here because we, we heard it in the last episode. It is not necessary to hear it again. So we've got our task. So we've met Vlad and I want to get to... In fact, is there anything interesting to show? Now that we're here, um, boiler room four and five and then it's the cargo hold. So no, there's nothing particularly interesting. Um, so let us now head away over... So we're in the engine room, which is where a reasonably famous cock-up once happened. I'm not actually sure where the staircase goes, to be fair. Fair. Ah, yes. So this this is into the funnel now. Okay, I, I remember now. Um, right. Okay, so we're in Scotland Road, and so we were due a meeting with Andrew Conkling. Hello, I'm Conkling. Good of you to come. I trust you're finding the accommodation satisfactory. I am indeed. Thank you. You're welcome. White Star's anxious for everyone to be as comfortable as possible, particularly on the maiden voyage. Good for you. Why did you want to meet me? Sorry here? to seem mysterious. You must understand someone in my position, an investor in this ship, needs discretion. Why? Is it? It's the better part of Miller. <laughs> You're under no obligation, of course. I have a slight problem. You may be able to help. A servant has stolen an important business document from me, and I must recover it. A few years ago, my wife Beatrix hired that was a young the one Irish girl as maid in our London house. We treated her well. Two weeks ago, she up and left without notice, taking a certain letter with her. I'd given up all hope of recovering it. Until my wife spotted her this morning on the third-class promenade. Needless to say, I checked with the purser. She'd been scheduled to sail on the Philadelphia. Okay. But those passengers were transferred on board the Titanic because of a coal strike. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, you could say so. Um, okay, why well, Government to officials, this. friends of mine, told me a bureau agent was on board. I found you through Mrs. Cashmore. Oh, Mrs. Cashmore. A preposterous woman. <laughs> yeah. But she does have an eye for accomplishment. Look, will you help me? You will be rewarded handsomely. Excellent. I need more information. Her name is Shayla Hacker. She's 20 or thereabouts. S I was her benefactor, hacker. one might say. Excellent. Just her benefactor? What's the letter? Confidential business matters. Conkling Steel provides right. steel for ships. This ship. this ship, for example. If the contents of the letter were publicized, our competitors would profit greatly. And there's a reason for that. Excellent. Where's the woman now? I've gotten word to her to meet on the poop deck. Go in my place. Tell her there'll be no trouble if she returns the letter. Afterwards, report to me in our suite, B-59. Her name is Shayla Hacker. Good night. Excellent. Okay, right. So we're now up on Scotland Road, which is not where we want to be. We want to... Uh, let's not break into anybody's rooms. Where is the aft staircase? Second glass stairs. Here we are. Right, so let's go down to... F deck, which is here. We're going to go into the F deck cabins and speak to Penny. Lord B, what are you doing back here? Find that blasted book. I did. I'll see if I can dig something up on him. Yes, he may be down there looking for the Rubaiyat. I suggest you find out. Good advice. Let us set the Rubaiyat before it changes hands. And as we saw, if we do, we get ourselves killed. Right, okay, so. What have we got to do here? Um, shit, we've actually got more than I can remember. Um, so we need to go up to the... the poop deck. 
most hilarious named part of any ship. So we'll deal with the Conklings business first. Um, can I get into the, the D-Deck saloon? No, okay. So all the dining rooms have been closed. I, I, I can't remember what deck it is to get there. Um, it's gonna be, nah, it's B-Deck, so it's one after right. Okay, okay. It's a big ship, it's quite easy to get lost. To the poop deck, right, okay. So, as a servant, she's not allowed anywhere else. So, I, this is this is kind of this is the place where a lot of famous business on um, James Cameron's Titanic takes place. Most of you will um, acknowledge it. This is I don't know what you would call it on a ship, to be honest, but it's kind of like the emergency bridge. Um, so you've got the the tiller and the engine controls here. No, I don't have a clue who you two. Oh no, no, this is the mate. What did I tell you, Shay? I knew he'd not come in person. Hush, Jack, hush. Conklin, he did send you, didn't he? Of course he did. He didn't say there would be two. I told you, it's a trick. I knew Conklin wouldn't come. He said one of his cronies instead. <laughs> one, of, one of the cronies. Um, I'm her brother. And Conklin, because of him, yeah. Shayla's had to leave everything and everyone she knows. Jack, no. That son of a bitch. She was his maid and all the time violating it. Hush, Jack. I'll have no more of it. Go on, Jack. Say it. Excellent. You tell Compton we have his letter, and he'll not be seeing it till he coughs up a tidy sum, too. How much money? Five thousand, do you hear? Dollars. Enough to get her started right in America. I can live with that. If he moves a hand against us, I'll make sure the newspapers get the letter and print it. So tell Conklin. Five thousand. Measured against what he has, it's a bloody bargain. Yeah, it seems fair. Beat us here again. At one, tonight. Five thousand dollars, then he'll get his damn letter. Agreed? When? Okay. I'll have to ask Conklin. It's your only chance. We'll be waiting for you. I didn't, I didn't think I had to meet them here. Especially not at one o'clock, because, well... Stuff on board the Titanic has a bad habit of going down before <laughs> one o'clock. Pun not intended, but it's funny. Um, right, okay, so we've now met... We've now met you. Um, okay. So, um, we're gonna head up to the A deck. I want to go out to... I want to go into the... Uh, oh no, it's, it's A deck. It's the... Ugh, I went to the wrong goddamn floor. Really wait no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, this is an easy ship to get lost on. Um, right, we'll just hit second class stairs because we're here. We want to go down to the E deck. Uh, which is here. And... Now I can't escape, so I was sort of annoyed. Right, let's just go to the... The asset place. So we're gonna go into the smoke room, and we're now looking for Charles. So we're looking for a person who wasn't here before. I think this is him. No, hang on. Can I speak to over here? Because there was somebody to speak to. Oh yeah, I forget you can turn people around. It doesn't actually do anything. So this is Ch no. You're the Reverend. You're Trask. You're blah. You're blah. Excellent. Right. Okay. So you. Our Charles. Lord Lambeth. Oh, I'm no. travelling with my wife, Lady Lambeth. George has decided to take the air. I opted to take this. Excellent. <laughs> my wife, Georgia, she's... Unwell. She's unwell. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, it's uh, not the best situation, I'm afraid. And uh, just one of my trouble. And what is your other? You have other troubles? Too many to speak of. Where did things With go? Georgia, how else? What did you do mean? Four years ago at a house party. She enchanted me. We got married and we're happy. But Georgia's moves grew volatile. She <laughs> imagined plots against her everywhere. Even with Sasha. With Sasha? With Sasha. What Sasha cares more for money than for her. I know that now. Excellent. Where is Sasha now? He's on board, actually, uh, shepherding a collection of paintings to New York. Perfect. Taking pictures. But uh, that's a secret. 
night, and if you should uh, speak to my wife, remember... Burn in hell. She tells some fairly tall tales. Yes, I'm quite sure who I... I know who I would want to be believe. Yes. Um, okay. Right, so... Um... Right, so we now know that Charles is not there. So we want to go to her cabin. Uh, B70, so it's... Oops. It's back the way. Enter. Okay, so we're now in somebody else's room. On board Le Titanic. I wasn't sure you'd come. Of course I would come. What did you want to tell me? Morgan? First, I want to know how you fared these last years. Rather well from the looks of you. I'm glad to see you. You're the only person I can trust. Please promise me you'll help. I shall. You always were there when I needed you. Now, with my life a horrible mess. So, you probably can't pick up on this, but there's a, a house alarm just going off outside. What's happening? When Charles discovered my affair with Sorsha, he was quite calm. But I know him, you see. His revenge is taking the necklace, leaving me with nothing. nothing. And Sorsha... Sorsha. I'd never trust him uh. again. Don't you see? They're looking for guns. For bombs. What? Who are they? Sorsha's friends. His gallery was their London base. They were rough men. Foreign. Oh. Sorsha told me they were part of a Balkan aid society. Mm. Stupid girl that I was, I believed him. But then I found out. These people, they... Charles! Please, Georgia, continue. Was it my title or my income you found so desirable? And I was never sure. Now that both assets Ugh. are depleted, why don't you go to Sasha? Maybe he can help, as, as he's, he's done, done before. before. Ignore him. I see the smoking room's had its usual effect. Alcohol abuse joke. Idle gossip, apparently. Hmm. You see his attitude? Please, go. Since she obviously can't depend on me. Here, take the chill out of the air. Thank you for seeing after my wife. Now I think it best you leave the happy couple, <laughs> drowning in their happiness. Good night. Yay for Remember, alcohol! Remember, I need your help. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll need to track them, Sasha. So we've now done that. Now, I can't remember if Sasha... Um, let's go down to Sea Deck again. I'm just going to pop into the purser's office. And get to yes, dig in a I few people. So, let's... Uh... Perhaps. As purser, I'm in charge oh, of the Titanic's passengers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, this is a mystery. So, um... Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. I just want to see. So, so Sasha is A14. Excellent. Mr. Barbican, try cabin A14. A14, so we know about that, right. Um, let's check the passenger list. Have you a name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. Let's, uh, ch 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 more names. Mrs. Conklin, Georgia Lambeth, Sheila Hacker, so, okay. We don't want to speak to these people at the moment. Who am I looking for? I want to tell them about Vlad. Thomas Andrews, the Reverend Trout, Captain Smith, Ah, there it is, right, okay, so... Look for Captain Smith, there we go. Vlad the Money. The Money? Hmm. I don't see anyone on board by that name. Because Perhaps you're away. mistaken. Perhaps you're mistaken, I am most certainly mistaken. My apologies and to, thank you for your assistance. Very good then. Kind good sir. Okay, excellent. So we know where the thing is. Um, right, so let's go to A deck again. Let's speak to Barbican. He's quite... He's quite an important plot character, if memory serves me correctly. So we're looking for A14, and this guide will probably help. So we're on the wrong side of the ship. So let's head down to here. A14. Nope. A14. Here we go. Yes? Ah, Mr. Barbican. I'm looking for Mr. Barbican. You Barbican. found him. I haven't seen him. Sasha Barbican of Barbican Galleries. Excellent. Now, what is it that I can help you with? Well, my friend. I'm here to receive a package for Vlad. For Vlad? He's on board? Please come in. Excellent. <laughs> he did it. I told him not to, told him I'd pay his ticket, <laughs> and he was too proud. 
such a tragedy about his family. They were with my mother's people. Mm. When Austria took Bosnia, Bosnia, they were killed. Many were. With his family dead, America seems as good a place as any for Vlad. Poor, crazy murdering Vlad. Ask Vlad, I don't know. Here, his things. You'll be glad to get them. Excellent. It's rather late. It is, isn't it? Our history is quite complex. Involves some jiggity pokery. <laughs> Certainly. George is a woman who does not go unnoticed. Excellent. Georgia exudes a certain romantic paranoia, <laughs> a condition, I fear, worsened by Charles' own romance with whiskey. <laughs> Alrighty, so, can Georgia be Georgia, trusted? have you talked to her? You be the judge. She's accused me of outrageous deeds, libelous, practically. Excellent. I'm part Slav, you see, a Serbian, Serbian. on my mother's side. Hmm. Georgia finds such a mixture a source for wild stories. Totally wild stories. I like this one. Continuously. <laughs> one hears there are financial problems. They say Charles owes Andrew Conkling thousands of pounds. So this is becoming quite a web of interesting of interesting stuff. Not we much to anyone can do, I'm afraid. George is in clear need, need of a rest. rest. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Excellent. And don't believe what Lady Georgia says. She's not well. She'd be cray cray. Enjoy your voyage. Enjoy your voyage. You too, Sasha. So we have a package. Okay, so we'll keep that in our back. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff at the moment. Um, oh yes, this is the dumb waiters <laughs> for room service. Um, okay, so I think we're done in the A deck cabins. We're going to head out to the grand staircase once again. And yeah, I, th I think enjoying the view of the grand staircase. This is probably a time to say this is the end of this episode of Titanic and Adventure Out of Time. So when we come back, we need to speak to Andrew Conklin, and then the story will progress. So thank you very much for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye!